previously. After 50 raids, I finally managed to get Miles Mutant's Fang. Meaning that as a Brawler's Resolve user, I can now play the game. This is the second fire cape I've had to get on leagues and my god, is it easy now? I don't even need to flinch anymore, I can just face tank. I 100%, I get the Grandmaster task here for speed time. It's actually insane. There we go. I'm editing my last video right now, and I just got a pop-up for a skilling pet for 200 points. Now that I have the Oz Mutant's Fang as a Neely Relic user, the first thing that I want to do is I want to upgrade the gear that I have, because right now, I could do with a few upgrades. And I know just the place. This is gonna be so fun. Oh, that's crazy. I just don't miss. I even brought the Bone Dagger, but honestly, I think I'm gonna have to bench it. Like, I don't think there's any reason for it at all. 2KC Bandos Hilt, I don't mind if I do. Two Bandos Hilts in 19KC, that's kind of cracked. AFK right now, this is the most chill thing I've done all week. Blood Fury is just slowly healing me back up. Fang is doing what the Fang does. It's a beautiful thing. The first Bandos upgrade, the Bandos chest plate. 200 points for equipping that as well. 111 KC deep right now. I'm getting about 83 kills per hour. It's pretty chill. I'm gonna need to break these down for Torva eventually anyways. And the Bandos chest plate gives the most pieces, so we'll take it. Bandos boots! They don't even show as purple. There is a task to equip a full Bandos set, so it's not completely useless. 25 million strength XP. These are super easy tasks that I can just get passively. Full Bandos has been achieved. That didn't take too long at all. What was that? 175 KC. 200 points. Really needs to do something about this helmet though. I'm taking this helmet off. It looks awful. Holy shit. Genuinely looks so much better. My god, I look so bad. I'm gonna just be honest with you guys. I am actually enjoying leagues again. I had a horrible time at Tombs of Amaska trying to get this fang. I'm so happy that I'm able to just do other parts of the game. There's so many things I can do now. There we go. That will do for now. I'm not totally sure, but I think that this time it's probably gonna be a little less AFK. I think food may be required to kill this boss. Oh, there's the Saradomen sword. That should be some nice, easy 80 points. I'm gonna grab my Bandos chest plate real quick and just see what it's like praying mage. I'm not too sure if it's better to pray melee or pray mage against the boss, but I am currently getting absolutely wrecked. Yep. It definitely feels a lot better doing this praying mage. Sourdome and Hill, 25 KC. That is beautiful. This was the only thing that I really wanted from here, aside from free points. I'm just over 5,000 points for my final relic, and there are a bunch of free points to be claimed here at the Barrows. I've been doing this now for about three hours, and I've only had five drops. But luckily, I've been saved, and I've been invited to TOB. I'm gonna do that instead. And as a melee user, TOB is absolutely insane. With two meleers and one mage, we can just stay on the boss while the mage cleans up all of the spiders. Oh shit, Yo, perfect, maiden. Yo, perfect maiden. Yo, <laughs> let's go. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I'm ever gonna need these, but I might as well take them. They're free after all. Oh, sweet. I got an elite task. I got the speed task, grandmaster and master. Purple, purple. Oh, I got an elite clue scroll. Nice. Ah. Wait, is that, that's not good? <laughs> Verf is only after the saying staff. Every like is a prayer for Verf. We did end up doing a few of these raids, but unfortunately we didn't get too much luck. I do plan on coming here in the future because there's just so many upgrades for me. The Scythe, the Sang, the Avernic Defender, all of them being game changing for me. The TOB team has dissolved. We're back to doing some tasks. And right now, I need to get my smithing up. Jumped a couple smithing levels there as well. That is the Giant's Foundry Unlocked. 80 smithing. And I'm gonna buy myself a Colossal Blade because this right here is a task. Because I spent so much time getting myself the Fang, there are so many tasks that I've not done that are super simple, like wearing full adamant. Now that I have 80 smithing, I can now make a Godsword Blade, meaning I can equip the Bandos Godsword 
Godsword for 200 points. And now I have a Bandos and Saradom and Godsword. If I'm not mistaken, this should mean that we get two more tasks here for Fletching a Willow Shortbow and Fletching a Magic Shortbow. There's another 200 points. Mithril Grapple has been created for 40 points. And I now have access to Armadil, which is more points and my final Frozen Key piece. The 1KC Dream. Just give me a piece of Armadil. I'd be so happy. No Armadil. But we got the key. The frozen door has been unlocked. And now I have access to next. And while I'm here, it would be rude not to get a kill. This is the setup that we're going to be using. We're just going to test this out and see how it goes. Why don't you just fucking die already? God, that is a lot of tasks. Oh, we got the next duo task. That's hilarious. Nine minutes and nine seconds in this gear. That is super, super nice. After testing just how realistic soloing next is gonna be, it lit a flame within me. Knowing just how close I was to obtaining my best in slot armor. Because not only will taking the executioner's axe cut a big chunk of time off the kills, but I'll also be getting five times the drop rate in X, meaning that I should see a unique every eight to nine kills i have a load of tasks and points that i can get from beginner easy and all of the clue scrolls and there's also a couple tasks i have that require me to get my fire making up look at all those beautiful clues on the ground 25 times looting the tier 8 chest and i'm done that took way longer than i thought it was gonna so we're gonna go do something else I'm gonna grab myself some ice gloves here real quick there is a task where these are going to be super useful. If you guessed the Tazars, then you guessed correctly because we have a bunch of free points to claim here. This right here should be a ton of free points. That's a lot. That's 400 points from just buying and equipping all of that. So free. That's only 80 points for that one. That is by far the most expensive. And of course, how could I forget the Tazar challenge? Which with melee is somewhat of a struggle. Easy 200 points, and it's a master combat task as well. We have secured 95 fletching. We have 1,274 of these dragon dart tips, which is insane XP. Oh my God, 8,000 XP drops. And that's a 200 pointer of fletching 200 dragon darts. It is time we farm some points. My collection log right now is 186. And as you can see, there are a bunch of easy collection logs to fill in the mole slippers i'm missing one item from the beginner clue scrolls for 200 points 200 collection logs for 200 points oh wow that's so so rare fill 10 elite clue scroll log slots for 80 points we now have 249 collection logs and we're so close I decided just to finish up with a very fast 200 points. 25 million XP in defense. Our final relic has been unlocked. And of course, I will be taking the Executioner. It executes anything which is under 20% of his hit points. And now I'm getting five times the drop rate. Got my Executioner's Axe this time. We have times five drop rates, which means these kills should be easier now. And it should be one in eight to nine kills for a unique. Boom. <laughs> that's so nice saves me so much hassle at the end wait hold up oh dude i don't even think i was recording okay it could have been worse it's just the ancient hill right well that's the first drop and what kc was that on 4kc 7 minutes 36 we shaved an entire minute off of our pb there Oh, we're starting from the bottom. It's okay. 10kc, we've had two drops. There will be no complaining from me. That has to be a task. 80 points? What? I'm only banking because my inventory is just filled with loot right now. I hope all the fire sailors watching this are coping. <laughs> no, not another one. Stop giving me dupes. Had two van braces and two hilts. Just give me some Torba. Look at me. I'm practically begging. 
The Nihil Horn. I don't actually think I can use this because I need to have a certain amount of shards. But technically, this is the upgrade for the Armored Oak Crossbow. 250 Nihil shards I need. <laughs> That's nice to see something different, though. I've had every single drop that isn't Torva. It means there's only one thing left to get, right? The only downside to doing this is that I am getting through supplies. But we have enough to go for now. I'm hoping we can get at least one or two pieces of Torva with all the prayer pots and restores that I currently have. Yes! Let's go! The Torva plate leg. Finally! Well, finally, 21 KC. I've had six drops in 21 KC. I think this is definitely more than one in 10. 35 million attack XP, okay. She healed. All right. She needs to stop healing. Oh my god. All right, come on. The B to B. Torva plate body or helmet, please. Scam game. 35 million HP, let's go. Right, I'm not entirely sure how this works. I haven't had to do this before. Melt down the battle chest plate into three Bandosian components. Yep, I'm guessing that's enough. You need level- No! I need level 90 smithing. Okay, right. We're gonna do that later. Oh, look at that thing. It's so chunky. Oh, it looks so good. Ah, uh, okay. Well, at least the drops are still coming. I've had three pairs of these van braces now. We are officially out of potions, so I'm having to collect red spider eggs, and there seems to be some competition. Fuck! Oh, shit! There it is! We actually got it. 99 agility. Never trained it outside of the Sage's Greaves. That's the big 50kc. Defeat next 50 times! I managed to get a total of 8 drops, including the Armored Old Crossbow upgrade to the Zarek Crossbow. I think it's time we make this Torba. And there it is, boys. Not quite full Torva, but close enough.